What's up, YouTube? It's your girl Mohanji Odrum Saga clocking in as per the usual. I'm so happy to be here. I'm so happy to be shooting this video. You know why I do YouTube, you guys. I like I undergo a lot of stress during the week and like I just need time to relax, to chill, to be to kick in the creative juices. <laughs> yeah, that's what I do YouTube like to balance, to make a balance, not to have a burnout. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you're new here and also if you're a returning subscriber, make sure you comment down below and like this video for it to be suggested to other people if you like this video. Understand it, I'm a fucking bitch. Hello, yes, you can fuck with me if you wanted to. This is expensive, this is very bad. So today, I said I, I posted on my stories on my socials for people to give me uh, what they assume about me. <laughs> that English was. <laughs> so I posted on my socials for people to comment assumptions about me. Yeah, so I'm going to tackle them today. Yeah, let's get into it. So the first assumption that I got was, I don't like my primary school. <laughs> and I don't know, I have been to a lot of primary schools. I have been to two primary schools. So the first time that like from class one, because we are in the 84 system from class one to about class four i was in saint saviors and from class class five to class eight i was in saint peter's what prompted me from to go from one school to another was because there was this time it was, i used to, i used i used to be a day scholar so there was this time that i was late i was running late to school and you used to like signal cars to stop along the highway so there were no there are no means of transportation to town like the normal means like matatus so i flagged down one matatu and a trailer was behind it so i flagged down the matatu but the matatu went and the trailer stopped so i was tiny i was so little and then so i thought bro this is free transportation this is like i was so excited because and mind you i'm a girl i'm a small girl this is a trailer of it was the, the it was the driver and the co-driver and there were two men so like i got into this trailer and it took me to the like the school gate <laughs> Oh, so tiny so like when i'm there i'm just like turning changing channels on the radio i was so excited because i thought like that fare that i got like i would i would use it to eat sweets at, at the end of the day so i was so excited so even when i went home when i got back home i like told my mom like i was super excited if you would have seen me I was super excited. I told my mom, "Mama, I was so, yeah, I was so happy." I told my mom, mom, I had, I had, I had taken Ashela to school. Hey, my mom was super, and she was, she was so worried. She was so afraid. That was the day that I went to boarding school. She just, she looked for, for a school for me the next day, and. That was it. Like I stopped being a day scholar. When I went to boarding school, my transition to boarding school was so rough because like I, I, I hadn't been used to like taking care of myself, washing clothes and all that. Yes, I would wash things at home, but it wasn't like supervised. So like when I went to boarding school, I was a bedwetter and why i was a bit better in the first place was because i was i didn't feel like i belonged because like there was this girl 
who was using me. So like we used to go for hot water, like from the boiler room. And she used to tell me like, I, I don't know if she used to tell me or I used to send myself to fetch for her water. So like I was really little and I used to carry like so big, big buckets of water because we used to run for hot water because it will reach a time it turns cold and you want to like the steaming hot water. So like I used to run for hot water and like carry for her buckets and also her friends so they will just sit still and wait for me to carry water and take it to the bathroom for them to take a shower and it was like every single day so i think it goes to me i even used to fail exams until like the head teacher called my parents to school like my mom to school and she came she talked to me and then everything changed when i reached class six because uh i i was given a role of a class a dining hall prefect and the dining hall was super dirty like it was it was it was it was like it was a, it was at a very pathetic state so people didn't like that role so like i took on that role and hmm, i became the bully <laughs> i was super strict and i didn't want to listen to anybody like if you did if you if you didn't do your duty in the dining hall if you didn't clean if if you didn't wipe your table if you didn't serve food equally like i was just for you to the teacher so people used to kind of fear me kind of i don't know if it was yeah i think it was fear it wasn't respect i don't know so like from then on my life in primary was super smooth like i gained weight like I used to eat and like I was even voted the best prefect in my year. So yeah, so primary school was easy, but at the end of the day, like I flourished in primary school. So contrary to the belief, I liked primary school. Like primary school was super nice to me. Another assumption was when I see you, I'll assume you eat well well. I love food. Me and food we are we are super close. I have a close relationship with food and I won't I won't trade that relationship to the for anything. Me and sweets, let's start from sweets. Me and sweets we are super close. Like anything sweet, I, I hate anything. I hate dark chocolates. I like white chocolates. I like pizza. I like KFC, I like what else do I like? I like I like street food, I like street food, anything. I like eggs, I like sausages, I like like any street food is for me. I like mutura, I like samosas, I like street food and what else? Um, in my day to day, like I like to mix things up. Like I don't like routine when it comes to food. I like today, like I eat breakfast for supper, supper for breakfast. Yeah, I like mixing things up. Me and food, we are we are super close. Another assumption is you look like you talk with sarcasm. Mm, I like making jokes. I like making jokes. <laughs> Like, like if you if you see me, me and the jokes we are, like I like making light of things, and that's why like I have sh a short reaction time when you say something rude because I don't know if it is sarcasm because most of the people I joke with I like when like when you see me, <laughs> like if I see you, <laughs> if I see you, I'll make a joke. Like that, that's just me. But I don't know what sarcasm. I don't know. I don't know the art of sarcasm. Like I'm still learning. I'm still adapting. Yeah. Another assumption was, and this is translation, that if I hook up with a boy, and then instead of them 
saying that they smashed me. They're just saying wah. <laughs> they they just be shocked and raise their hands. Mm, I cannot speak to my to my performance, <laughs> but I haven't had a contrary opinion to. <laughs> how I perform but <laughs> but well <laughs> we'll see <laughs> yeah that was an assumption another assumption was I assume you can cook because of my tribe uh yeah I know how to cook that's 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 given because I started cooking from when I was in class like when I was super small when, when I was in class five yeah so I started adding um another assumption is T is for tough. And I don't know about being tough. Like I'm tough. Mm, let's say if if like you you are rude to me like I'll stop that I'll stop like I'll I'll make sure that behavior stops. But I don't think I'm tough. Like I'm I'm a softie. I cry, I cry a lot. I don't think I'm tough. Another assumption is I saw uh, I got my shit together. Mm, most of the time I think that like I'm like I spiral, I spiral a lot. Like if I see if I think about the future and like there's a lot of uncertainty like i go into a really dark place like i don't have my shit together <laughs> i don't think i have my shit together like yeah, i don't think right now as per the moment you're talking of like as per now i don't think i have my shit together like i'm struggling i'm really struggling especially with school i'm really struggling but socially i think i have my shit together like if you are if you are rude if you are cheeky if i don't like the way you move bro i step right now i don't like like i like we talk we talk like if you do something to me if you do something rude like we will will hash things out but i'll step like i just know that behavior and step even if like we forgive each other we talk i'll just move along yeah um was there another assumption i don't think there was another assumption let me see the screenshots oh there was a assumption from snapchat that i love football i don't think i'm a fanatic yes i'm not a football fanatic but i don't hate football but i can't watch football like follow a whole like tournament from start till they get a champion like it's not it's not my thing i used to i used to follow football when i was young when like my brother would used to be a man united fan like the best sheets of man united like he used to have posters around so like the whole family was a was a manchester united fan but i don't know, like I'm, it's not, like i don't follow football like that yeah so those were the few assumptions that i got and make sure you like comment subscribe make sure you like and subscribe to join the gang we are such a vibe till we meet next friday right now i'm going to chat so i'm in a bit of a hurry happy ash wednesday so i'm shooting on wednesday peace